We will go through each process in more detail. First, the plastic raw material is fed into the machine. The material is then heated and melted in the barrel. In the case of PET, this happens at a temperature of about 280 degrees Celsius. At the first station, the molten material is injected under high pressure into the mold to make the preform. The preform is heat conditioned through direct contact with the wall of the injection mold to create a suitable heat profile, which is then maintained at a suitable temperature for easy processing at the next stretch blow station. This process is known as direct heat conditioning. It is the most important point of this system. The preform is inserted into the blow mold while it still has the correct heat distribution. The stretch rod stretches the preform. Finally, Compressed air is quickly blown into the preform to push it out to the blow mold walls where it cools and hardens to form the bottle. This process is known as stretch blow molding. Because preforms with accurate temperature profiles are stretch blow molded, it is possible to mold high precision specially shaped containers or containers with very thin walls. In the third and final station, the finished products are ejected from the machine. In contrast to other molding systems that use heaters to reheat and condition preforms that have previously been completely cooled, direct heat con eliminates the need for that reheating process by using the residual heat energy left over from the injection molding process. This enables the Aoki system to mold bottles with the minimum heat energy requirements.